So with the release of Blender 5, there are a lot of really cool new features. But one of the best ones that a lot of people may not know about is the new multi-scattering option within Blender's built-in sky texture, okay? And this is actually a really big deal. And what I have here is just a scene I've put together to kind of demonstrate this. So if I go Z and I go rendered, okay, this is inside of Cycles, by the way. So this is just kind of our sort of default um, sort of single scattering option. Now, if you're using an older version of Blender, and I'll quickly show you this, okay? I wanna quickly jump into Blender 4.5. In Blender 4.5, when you have cycles enabled, if you go to your world properties in the sky texture, if you add a sky texture, you have these three options. You've got Nishida, Hosek, Wilkie, and Prefam, right? Now, the Nishida is no longer available in the um, 5.0 build, but what you do have is I guess you do have it in the sense, but it's the single scattering and multi-scattering options that are replacing that. Now the single scattering just kind of works like the Nishida used to work, but now it's split into two and you kind of have this option here for multiple scattering. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just take this scene here, I'm gonna just render it and I am doing a nighttime scene because that just really shows it even better. It's a bit harder to see the big difference in the daytime scene, but I'm gonna quickly show you. I'm gonna just quickly render the scene with just the single scattering option. So I'm gonna go render and render the image. And here you can see is the render result. And it doesn't really look that good because it's looking very dark in some of the occluded areas. Um, it looks very sort of like unsaturated. There's not a lot of really good color. And you see some of these trees here against the background. They almost look completely just like black. There's really not a lot of nice sort of soft bounce light lighting happening here, at least doesn't look that way. It's just what you would expect with the way it currently is. But with the new 5.0 build, if I put this to another slot quickly, let's go ahead and let's now change it to from single scattering to multiple scattering and now have a look at this. I'm gonna go render and I'm gonna render the image. And here we have the new render with the multi-scattering and just have a look how much nicer that looks. Now it might not actually appear that well on the screen with the recording, but if you did this yourself, you would see there's a big difference. I can actually see more detail here. The lighting, the atmospheric lighting that's bouncing on here looks so much better. I can actually see some color and detail in some of these branches. And if I were to actually compare this shot to the previous one, you can see what a big difference that is. Look at this, right? This is with the single scattering and now have a look with the multi-scattering. If I show you quickly, just that is just an amazing difference. And this is a really, really big update. If you didn't know about this, I hope that you now know about it and that you can implement it in some of your upcoming projects. Give a like and subscribe if this has been handy. I've got a ton of other content on my channel. Everything from geo nodes to animation to sculpting, it's literally all on my channel. You can go check it out. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.